Welcome to Dell EMC Connectrix Brocade Series. This video is about how to decommission an e-port. Reference Dell EMC Knowledge Base Article KB517502. This video was created to understand the port decommission mechanism, how to disable the lossless feature on a switch e-port. Port decommissioning provides an automated mechanism to remove an e-port or a trunk port from use. The port decommissioning feature identifies the target port and communicates the intention to decommission the port to those systems within the fabric affected by the action. Kindly note, all members of a trunk group must have an equal link cost value in order for any of the members to be decommissioned. If any member of a trunk group does not have an equal cost, requests to decommission a trunk member will fail, and an error reminding the caller of this requirement is produced. The following restrictions apply to port decommissioning, the local switch, and the remote switch on the other end of the e-port, must both be running firmware 7, 1, 0 or later. Port decommissioning is not supported on ports, with DWDM, CWDM, or TDM. Port decommissioning requires that the lossless feature is enabled on both the local switch and the remote switch. When do we use this feature? The port decom command is used in order to remediate stuck VC issues. A VC is a virtual channel used to link ASICs on the backend, which route the frames internally within the switch. There is a condition that these VC can reach where it is unable to root frames due to the lack of buffers to buffer credits between ASICs. There are three main rules to be followed while executing the port decommission command. Port should be a fully operational e-port or trunk port. Lossless feature should be enabled on the local or remote switch. Alternate redundant path should be available to route the traffic. If the lossless feature is not enabled on the switch, the port decommission command fails with the error message. Request failed due to the lossless feature not being enabled locally. Hence, this video is about how to enable the lossless feature and further make use of the port decommission command. Putty into the switch. Enter the switch credentials. Check for the e-port to be decommissioned using the switch show command. Use the port decom command and disable the e-port. An error occurs saying, request failed due to the lossless feature not being enabled locally. This error indicates the lossless feature is not enabled on this switch. Hence we need to enable it using the DLS set, enable lossless command. Post enabling this feature. Continue to execute the port decommission command and decommission the e-port. You may use the switch show command and verify the e-port being disabled. Refer to KB number 332955 for stuck VC process. Refer to Brocade Fabric OS and command reference guide version 7x or later. Thank you for watching this video.